Sometimes it's the simplest of ideas that can change the world most profoundly. And sometimes it is the most challenging problems that can have the simplest solutions. Access to clean, abundant water supplies is a huge problem and getting more difficult daily. Currently, over a billion people don't have a clean water supply. Around the world, water-related diseases kill an estimated 6,000 people every day. And dirty water is responsible for an estimated 80% of all infectious diseases in the world. Here's part of the problem. In much of the world, gathering water is done the old-fashioned way by walking to a water source and literally lugging a day's worth back home. But there's no guarantee this water is clean. Christina Gubin is from Play Pumps International. The water's being shared by cattle, goats, livestock upstream that could be contaminating the river. Um, people were washing their clothes and possibly doing other things. But in many cases, clean, abundant water exists, literally, right under people's noses. In some cases, as shallow as 120 feet below the surface. But for these rural villages, that might as well be Mars. Even if someone were to dig them a well, they often don't have the resources to supply the electricity or diesel fuel needed to run the pumps that gets the water out of the ground. Enter the play pump. It looks like a merry-go-round. In fact, it is a merry-go-round attached to a pump. Every spin sends clean water into a storage tank at the rate of 1,400 liters per hour. Play pump water system utilizes the power of children playing. Um, so if we can find a community with a rural school where children are more inclined to use the pump, we've got a sustainable water supply. takes about a day to assemble. To help pay for upkeep, the sides of the storage tank double as billboards. Great. <laughs> it took about uh, five minutes of play, and now we've got enough water to fill this bucket. The water tastes good. Drinkable. But that's not the only impact. Clean water means less disease. Available water means less carrying time, especially for young girls. And that leaves more time for school. Five divided by ten. The girls are now uh, in a much better position because the girls are now are able to attend classes on time, unlike before. Before they would go and fetch water and they will have to join the boys later. So the girls are now able to start the classes on time, like, just like everyone. So they now get equal uh, opportunities like boys. It is a potentially life-changing technology. And the nonprofit group, Play Pumps International, with the help of groups like the Case Foundation, has set an ambitious goal of installing 4,000 play pumps all across Sub-Saharan Africa by 2010. They estimate that will bring clean drinking water to 10 million people in 10 different countries. Easy to build, easy to maintain, the play pump provides a low-cost solution a whole host of complicated, expensive problems. Now that's what I call a good idea. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium.